Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course, is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Yo, the drama today is juicy. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like. I don't even want to wait. I just want to I just want to get into it. For our first story of the day is a big one. Ladies and gentlemen, Hank the Tank in the past has been exposed for boosting. He's been banned by NBA 2K and they restored his account in a few weeks time. But now he's in the limelight once again for a similar accusation. Now, this story is an interesting one because right when you think it's reached its pinnacle, it just keeps going higher and escalating and new people are getting involved. So let's break it down. Everything started off with a tweet from poor boy Sin who said, you can't cry about what you've become. Some cats really down bad crying about delayers just to team up with them. He's taking low key shots at Hank the Tank. Hank complains about delayers, but he's saying, then why are you playing with them? So this is where things got interesting because Hank retaliated on Twitter saying, yo, poor boy Sin, get your bands up. Quit worrying about other people. Mr. Poor Boy stands for poor who cried when his account got hacked, AKA Mr. PlayStation account is my life, Omega emoji. Mr. I never asked for free clout ever. Worry about yourself, you need to. And he linked to DMs of a tweet from two years ago, which Poor Boy Sin asking what he has to do to get a shout out from Hank the Tank. Of course, Poor Boy Sin responded saying, you done or you stupid? Yo, stupidity been in the light. You just got stands for fans that believe you legit when you're not. And he linked to a tweet of Hank saying, LMFAO, trying to find people to throw games and then he linked to a tweet. Now, I'm pretty sure this tweet has already gone public before, and, and it might've been part of the reason why it, Hank initially got banned a few weeks ago. Poor boy Sin dropped some more DMs. If you look on the right side here, Hank asks, are you guys friends with that kid, Sam the Shark? Reply, nah, he a whole bitch. Reply to that is, I'm about to boost hard as fuck in EU, LMFAO, wanna play with me. So I'm like, God damn. Hank, you have to defend yourself in a situation like this. Cause we gotta hear both sides of the story before we can make a decision. Hank took some shots at poor boy Sin saying, like how you claim to get hacked in 2K17 when you got banned for boosting? Long hard nights playing a virtual game. Basically saying poor boy Sin was faking being hacked because he got banned for boosting and didn't tell nobody. I'm like, woo, guys. And yo, it just kept escalating and like, it was a very entertaining day on Twitter, to say the least. You digging up 2K17 DMs lame. We talking about how you just paid to hold off a server for virtual boosts and cold that you already have after getting banned for boosting. You wanna continue lame? Your sub count can't protect you from being a lame virgin. Sub count can't get you no females. Well, to be fair, it can if you flex properly, but he's probably saying he can't, whatever, besides the point. Why y'all even fighting for it? Y'all ain't getting nowhere. Poor Boy Sin responds, he came at me because he thinks he's invincible. Goofies think they can talk down on the internet. Oh man, it's getting good. Hank responded saying, I'll DM you my address on oh, God, pull up mate, with the wink emoji. Ah, damn! Whoa, Hank, come on man, you got to make it personal. Sin responded saying, I'll bring the lemonade and the cookies, I'm dropping the skinny neck character, uh, basically taking a shot at Hank the Tank saying he looks like this guy. Ah, more neck jokes. Your only insults are about my neck and me playing 2K events and being goofy. Well, this goofy long neck will always be more successful and entertaining than you, Bubba. Adios. God damn! Hank is really flexing today on Twitter. I'm glad you're exposing yourself to your fan base on how toxic you are. I'm seeing facts you dug up of 2K17 screenshots trying to insult my image and degrade it as well as put me in a 50 minute video to confuse your fans on why you were really banned, Hanky. I got banned for false claim. You? If you guys remember, Hank dropped a 50 minute video when he initially got banned, and in that video, he was taking heavy shots at Poor Boy Sin, and that's kind of when the drama of them initially began, right? And so here you have Poor Boy Sin, who's like a 97 overall now, played only on the park, and Hank the Tank's winning all these events, and so they are kind of just been throwing shade back and forth at one another for the last couple months now. Ah, you're still arguing about 2K events. Your whole career. What are you gonna do? Make a neck joke again next? I speak facts, I don't speak lies. To try and cover up my dirt. It's crazy when the shoe fits, the image you portray. Shrug emoji. Badge Plug got involved in the mix, said, well, since Hank and you were arguing to clear up your side, do you swear on your daughter's life you've never boosted in 2K? Cause Hank says you did. Ah, damn! Badge, what are you doing? 
doing, man? There are very few situations in which it would make sense to bring up his daughter. Unless she's actively involved in the drama for whatever reason. Don't bring her up, man. Oh, of course that erupted. People got involved. What the f Why are you asking a man to swear on his daughter's life for a video game? Y'all weird. Poor boy Singh quoted that tweet said, now Kat's mentioning my daughter's face palm emoji. Duke Dennis got in the mix said, who the f swears on their daughter's life over fing 2K? Y'all weird as f Badge responded to that saying, it's his career, it's yours too. And that'd be something you don't lie about. But all right, I'ma just delete it and go back in my lane. Peace. Nah, it's like, it is, there's rules to this, you know? Like, there's some things you just can't do and then once you do him, it kind of just changes everything. Cause I get what Badge was trying to do. He was just trying to get him to swear on something that's really important to him, right? You could have thought of so many things. You could have said the Bible, you, you could have said the Quran, you could have said like, Badge, his daughters and 2K is two totally different subjects, bro. I guess Badge plug was done getting hate, so he put out a tweet saying, deleting Twitter does nothing good for me with a peace sign emoji. See, the thing is, you're trying to make me look dumb. But there's a reason I said that, cause I know you wouldn't swear. And you know why? I think we all know why, but I'm only gonna leave this up for a minute. Just stop crying about boosting when you've done it. Simple. Poor boy Sin responded saying, again, you're just talking free lies. You jumped in with something that had nothing to do with you because you've always had silent hate for me. You've been in my DMs countless times asking for advice or videos to do with me. I'm gonna defend myself, I don't need to swear on my kids, period. You woke up this morning like a female, looking for drama to feed your lame life. Quit talking to me, clown. Oh God, this is just one story, by the way. There's more stories. <laughs> Somewhere in the midst of all this drama, Hank quote tweeted one of the original tweets from Poor Boy Sin, saying, this long neck ain't a broke boy like you. Quit worrying about your virtual record and worry about your career, mister. I don't have an entertaining bone in my body. <laughs> so that's where the story would have ended if some screenshots wouldn't have leaked, exposing Hank the Tank, and it's not a good look. Beast uploaded these screenshots and he captioned it saying, so this is what we're doing now, Hank? Paying people to hold servers. Paid 150 to Pies Full to hold the server when he this is beyond pathetic. First you boost and lie to your fans, and now you're holding the servers to win, or virtual clothes that deep. If you don't know what he's talking about, what he's saying is Hank was paying delayers to hold the servers so other people can't win and he can get his games on. And that's a pretty serious accusation. Take a look at the screenshots. The first one is a tweet of Hank saying, can someone send me PayPal and I'll send you the cash app Venmo. The second one was some messages sent to on PlayStation saying, Hank is paying my friend, who's your friend? You really think I'm gonna say? Just how much he got paid, 150. I don't know how, but someone got access to the DMs and, and Beast ended up posting them. And if you look closely here, it says details sent by Cole the man. He asked, why by Cole? Because Hank didn't want me to have his email, it's on the receipt. And on the final screenshot, you can see this Piesful character on the same park as Hank the Tank taking screenshots with him. And if we wrap this back to the first tweet where Poor Boy Sin was arguing, how is Hank the Tank gonna complain about delays but he's playing with him? Now, this isn't necessarily proof that he played with him and I didn't see a stream or any gameplay of them actually playing together, but they were in the same park together and it's not a good look. So I guess that's kind of where the drama stopped. Hank the Tank didn't respond to any of these newer accusations. Maybe he'll drop a video on it or some tweets. I'll keep you guys posted when he does. I like to hear both sides before I make up my mind because there's too many times where you hear one side and you're convinced of something before you hear the other side. And when you hear the other side, you're like, huh, that, that, that makes sense after all. So I'm gonna wait to see, but Hank, boy, you gotta do something to defend yourself here, my guy. This is not a good look. You've already gotten banned once for boosting. You get banned a second time, I don't know if you're gonna get your account back. And you, I mean, your account is D's, my guy, right? You you want so many events on it. You have how, how much VC, how many players, what overall. So that's not, a, that's not an account you wanna lose whatsoever. So clear the accusations, uh, and we'll see where the drama takes us. For our second story of the day, if you've been paying attention to the NBA 2K League, you'd know that the Combine just finished up and the NBA 2K League decided who the top 200 are that are moving on to the next round. So that means for a lot of people that have been grinding all year that they found out whether they made it to the next round or they fail. And so it was a lot of people pissed off, a lot of people disappointed, sad, crying. And of all the reactions I've seen, this one from Champ takes the cake for the most emotional 
I'm gonna just let y'all watch it. I, I feel embarrassed crying like this, but I really care about this stuff. And I know, I know that there's a bigger purpose. I believe in that. I believe everything happens for a reason. Um, you know, I believe in patience. I'm very patient. I'm a very patient person. I'm very passionate with whatever I do in life, whether it's what I do every day with helping people, um, whether it's helping this league out because there's a lot of people in this league I care about. You know, I never thought that these people would be family to me. And I would care about these people. Oh my like, God damn, boy booted up a live stream and just kind of wanted to talk about what was next and just broke down and got all emotional. And I don't know why, but the first time I watched this, I caught myself laughing, which is horrible. Cause it's like the guy's dreams was crushed. He has to wait another year to fi figure out whether he can make the 2K league or not. I don't know why I was just, something about it was just funny to me. I, I can't tell you. But there was something interesting he said in the middle of the video and I don't remember where it was, but he was talking about how there was some people in the league that didn't want him working there at an executive level. It'd have been cool if he expanded on that. Cause maybe like some guys got a vendetta out for him and maybe he's qualified and he just hasn't got a position working for the NBA 2K league. I don't know. Uh, I just thought it was a cool story to kind of break up all the boosting Hank the Tank, poor boy sin drama. I want to take this moment to congratulate Annoying on not making drama alert today. Cause I haven't been keeping count, but I'm pretty sure he's leading the entire 2K community in drama alert appearances. So he's not in this one. Congratulations Annoying. You've stayed out of drama for a couple weeks. Okay, now this next story of the day. <laughs> this borders on illegal and uh, no, not borders, it's definitely illegal. There's a couple videos we have to watch and some tweets we have to read. Ladies and gentlemen, the drama is just escalating. All that YouTube shit funny to start pulling up. Yeah. They get real slimy. No cap. We do all the pulling up. If you guys don't know who that was, that was YBN Almighty J. He got into some drama with Nade and uh, apparently he wants to pull up. And I obviously can't show the visuals because he was literally holding a gun, but he, <laughs> he <laughs> yo, yo what, is, what is happening, man? The guy was holding a gun and cocking it back, letting the bullets fly, basically asking where Nade's address was. He put out a tweet that he later deleted, and because I'm an experienced 2K drama alert host, I, I know better now. I know to screenshot tweets the second they drop if I think they're drama alert worthy, because people always end up deleting half the tweets, and so I can't do these episodes. I, I'm missing holes in the story, because people keep deleting tweets. And this, these, this is one of them, ladies and gentlemen. This tweet said, I got $5,000 for anybody that finds Nade's real address. I swear to God. So I want you. First of all, pretty sure it's legal to ask to dock somebody. But second of all, $5,000 is a lot of money for an address, man. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure somebody would do it for $50 if you ask nicely. <laughs> I, listen, I don't know where this story is going, man. I just know this drama is juicy and I'm here for it. He put out a follow-up tweet saying, you better stay in the house, cause there's real demons outside. And another tweet saying, I'm done entertaining an internet webcam stripper. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if that's how I describe Nade, man, but uh, all right, that's one way to do it. People don't want that real life smoke. He drives a Nissan Altima, deuces. <laughs> I didn't even know he drove a Nissan Altima, that's tough. That's kind of where the drama ended, and for the life of me, I couldn't find any clips of what Nade said to piss off YBN Almighty J. Couldn't figure it out. He must have done something crazy, bro, because to get someone to want to pull up to where you're at, he must have said something about his parents. Like, that's, because that would, that would trigger and invoke such a reaction. I don't know, Nade finds a way to piss off a lot of people. He's on these drama alerts quite often for saying stuff on stream that triggers people. I mean, Nade is back at it again for the final story of the day. Uh, Duke put out this tweet saying, I think all big YouTubers should meet up and play each other in 1v1s. Nade responded to that tweet saying, 1v1 my man's T-Jack since you're the best. Duke responded saying, where y'all at? Orlando, I'm down to play whoever. <laughs> Yo, please, for the sake of the 2K community, Duke, I need you to figure out a way to make this 1v1 happen. But under one condition, that after you play T-Jack, you also get to play Nade. Cause that's the game everybody wants to see. 
One final note on this drama alert, Mike Wang went on IGN, I believe, and he did this long, like, 15-minute interview talking about his career, answering a bunch of questions. You might find it interesting. If you guys remember, Mike Wang worked for 2K, left to EA before returning back to 2K, and the 2K he returned to was 2K11. 2K11 is the greatest 2K of all time. So there was a time, especially when 2K11 just dropped, where everybody uh, credited Mike Wang for the success of the game. And they're like, yo, Mike Wang is the gameplay director. He came back, bro, and changed everything. 2K's on top. And it was, it was kind of like a very hype moment in, in the 2K sphere. So, it, I don't know. For me, it was worth watching. I enjoyed it. And if you scroll down into the comments, you'll see a lot of people like, all right, that was cool and all, but... 2K is still f***ing with us with the microtransactions. So, anyway, I thought it was an interesting read. Yo, that's been Drama Alert. This is Agent Beamstar. Drop a like. And if you guys want to be kept up to date, subscribe to the channel. Click on one of these four videos. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.